Hi guys, so this is a tutorial on project three, which is um, having different opacities, five different layers, and overlapping objects. So I'm going to click on new project. And then project three. And again, I'm going to change pixels to inches, 11 by 72 and transparent, and then create. So again, we're going to use the selection tools and I'm going to make some shapes. Now, every project that you do is you're going to build on what you did last time. So last time we added to when we took a away from selections. So I'm going to continue to do that. <clears throat> My paint bucket. Deselect. Change my color. All right, so I'm going to make a new layer. So I'm going to go into my layers palette and click on the new layer. And so now I have a different layer, and you'll notice it's on top. So I'm going to continue to make some shapes. So um, this shape here is partially on the naked background and partially on my shape. Another way to fill this, especially if this were on the same layer as the background, which it is not, but we're going to pretend it is for a minute, I can say Edit, Fill, and I want the foreground color. So I'll leave it at foreground and say OK. And that way it fills the whole thing as opposed to filling just the parts that are on the green or just the parts that are not on the green. So I'm continuing to make my shapes. Um, changing my color. I am filling and a new layer. So this is three. I think I want that there, but I want it behind everything. So I'm going to drag it a 
below this layer and I see that this is locked. So I'm gonna click on that background and unlock it, hopefully. Nope. Okay, so now you can see that layer is behind everything else. And make another new layer. And holding down my shift key to make a perfect circle. And I'm just going to use a few buckets. Okay, so I think I'd like some more around the outs. Actually, no, I think I need something on here. And since this is a very geometric, hard edged shape, I think I'm going to go with a rounded shape. And this is on a new layer. It's going to be, I'm going to have to move the layer up because I would like it above. And we can use some red in there. So I'm going to fill that with red. And I'm going to drag it above all the other layers. Not below, above. And I think I'd like to play with that a little bit. So I'm going to make another circular or spherical shape. And what I want to do is I want to get rid of, actually, the middle of that. So on the same layer, I have this, these marching ants, and I am going to hit backspace, and it deleted what was inside the red. I kind of like that. I think I'm going to do the same thing with the green here. So I'm going to make a sphere and I am on the green layer, even though you can see that there's purple on top, the purple is on its own layer. So I'm gonna backspace on my keyboard and make a hole in there. Ooh, I think I'll do that with the yellow too. So I'm gonna go into my yellow layer. I'm gonna make that shape. And I'm going to backspace. And then, okay, you know, I kind of like that. So I think I'm going to do that with some of my other shapes. Oops, not with that though. I want the rectangular. So I'm holding down my shift key because I want to have a couple of them in there. and make sure I'm on the right layer, which is layer two. And we know that because we see the little thumbnail there. And when I do that, it goes away. So make sure I'm on that and backspace. And then I think I'm on a roll here. I'm gonna do it here too. Again, I'm holding down my shift key. add to my selection. And make sure I'm on the right layer and backspace. 
and you'll notice the red, nothing happened to the red there. It just, because it was, it was on top of that. I think I might do it on these little wiggly things also. So I'm using the lasso because I want to stay in the style of the organic shape. So I'm going to go to that layer, space. And, oh heck, I might as well do it on here, right? And I'm still on the right layer. Kind of like where they overlap other shapes, be able to see through it. Okay, so now I still think I need some extra stuff, so I'm going to add another layer. And I think I want to do something in here. And I'm not sure what. So since I'm on my own layer, I can play with it and then trash it if I don't like it. So what color do I need there? I maybe I'll go black and I'm gonna fill it. It's on its own layer, so I could just do it once. Okay, so now I think I want to drag this below everything else, so it's behind everything. And then I think I want I think I want that longer. So what I can do is I can go up to edit. Retransform, and it gives me these handlebars on there. So I'm going to just drag that to where I want it. Well, that's pretty bold. It might be too big. Um, Okay, now once I do that, I have to click this checkbox at the top to make sure that it sticks. So, Control D to get rid of my marching ants. Okay, I like that. I think I'm gonna make another one over here behind everything, but again, I'm going to make it on a new layer in case I don't like it, I don't have to try to erase it. So I think what I'm gonna do is, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm going to just gonna make another one. So kind of like that shape, maybe not quite as long, maybe even a little skinnier. And then I'm gonna fill it with black. And then I'm gonna rotate it. I want it to be more on an angle. So I'm gonna edit um, free transform again. And so not only can I drag these up and down and make them longer or skinnier, but I can also, when I get that double headed arrow that is elusive there, I can click and I can drag it and rotate it. So I think I like that. And then I'm going to check box and then I want to, I want to, Move it. And I like that, but now I think I need some, I think I need one down here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that layer that I just created. I'm going to drag this into the new layer icon. And now I have another layer that has that same element on it. So I'm going to go to my move tool and just drag it. Now, I don't like that it's slanted the same way because I need something like, whoops, the opposite direction. So I'm going to, again, edit, 
trans, uh, free transform. And I'm going to rotate it so it's going the other way. Move over here. Maybe make it a little shorter. Click the check, and I think I want that on on top of the green. So I'm going to drag it above the green. And then I think I'm going to move it a little bit more. Free transform. No, I don't like that. So I don't like that. So I'm going to just take that whole layer, throw it in the trash can, and it's gone. I think what I want to do here is make a circle. Circle. And I think I might bring the orange back over here, sort of unify it. So actually what I'm going to do is I, I like that color orange and I don't want to have to try to match it. So I'm going to take my eyedropper, eyedropper and click the orange. And now it's right there in my, in my color picker. And then I'm going to fill foreground color. Okay. And then I'm going to do the same thing I've been doing to all of my shapes and just carve out a little nook in there. That's nice. Okay, I'm pretty happy with that. So I need to add a background to it. So I'm going to add one more layer and I'm going to choose my background. And that's going to be, I don't want it to fight with the colors in that, so I'm going to go kind of dull or light. And then I'm going to just spill my paint everywhere. Oh no! That's okay, just gonna drag that layer to the bottom. So it's behind everything. And I can tell it's at the bottom. I can tell where the layer is gonna land because you can see the black bar. You want, I want the black bar be, below everything. Yay, I like that. Okay, so there I am. Although I'm having an issue with these two elements. I think I would like the red circle and the orange to be separated just a little bit more. The red circle's on its own layer, so that would be the perfect thing to move because I'm only moving that, but I can't move, I don't want to move that any further towards the edge. So that means when I go to this layer, I might move that layer just a little bit, which unfortunately means it's going to move every, oh, the layer's locked. So that could be an issue because in Photoshop, you can just alt click it. So maybe that worked. Yeah. Okay. I guess I like it where it is for now. Um, okay. So here is my image. So now I need to flatten that and save it as a JPEG. So I'm going to um, export as. I don't know if it flattens it on its own. So I'm just going to say JPEG and I'm okay with all that. So I'm going to just say save and there is my project three. So then I'm going to upload that to Unified Classroom. So that is just a little something on project three. Um, I did also cover a couple things in there that we haven't covered yet. So we'll talk about that next class. All right, see you then.